Good morning, what's up? Uh, today is not gonna be a very long video at all because last night I forgot to charge my phone. So either if I cut the video off or the video just turns off, <laughs> then you guys will know why my phone just died. It's like around 45% right now. I forgot to turn, I forgot to charge it. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, uh, today, um, I'm gonna show you guys something pretty funny. Uh, they, oh, they're in the factory. They sent us a video of how to properly put stickers on watermelon. And mind you, this girl that, we, that, that we've been having put stickers on uh, our watermelons, our honeydews and that stuff, like, she has like a roughly like around seven or eight years of experience doing it. And it's not hard at all, but it is very fast paced. And they sent us a video <laughs> and <laughs> they uh, told us, this is how you supposed to supposed to do it and mind you again she's been doing them for seven to eight years I'm, just, I'm gonna show you guys that clip right now <laughs> But yeah, there's two perspectives in, in this point right here. The first perspective is the one from the factory. They're, they think that just because uh, they want the sticker on there correctly, that every single one is gonna be there on correctly. They have to think about uh, the vibration of of each time that we had a bounce going into uh, like moving the trailer from the field to the spot where the truck driver is gonna go pick it up. They, uh, they had to put that in perspective as well that the when, when, when the truck driver is on the way to the factory that uh, there's a lot of winds inside of those boxes so with a little bit of wind and and if they're if those if those stickers are loose it'll just fly off easily and another thing is <clears throat> yeah uh, yeah uh, it, we, we try to do our best job on putting the stickers correctly but Honestly, it's just <laughs> pretty impossible, as you guys saw. She she was in fast pace all all the time, and for us to just correctly just stay there for for a good while until it heats up and sticks on correctly to the watermelon, I don't think I don't think uh, they're gonna like doing that. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, my arm is starting to give up on me, my uh, because. I think I've been like I think I've been lifting a lot of things heavy today, so I've broken this arm twice already. Uh and yeah, it doesn't feel so good right now. So I just told I just told uh the supervisor, uh Donya Grumpy to uh to just excuse me for a bit while my while I get a little bit more senses back to my arm. So I'm not pushing it to the limit anymore. Well, yeah, that's that's what comes with the price of just having broken broken your arm twice in the past. And I've broken my arm twice already, and they told me if I break it one more time, I'm gonna need uh, some surgery on them. I'm gonna they're gonna put some pla uh, plates on me and some nails. So yeah, yep. I don't want to do that because <laughs> each time I go to the airport, they're gonna uh, they're gonna be like, "What's this boy carrying?" <laughs> No, but yeah. So right now, I took the corner boards to the crew because they needed some. Got a little owie. These are corner boards. We put them on the side of the pallets. Hint, corner boards. They help us uh, strap down the pallet so when it's in transport, it's not moving around. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of uh, how to drive with a uh, uh, fully loaded trailer uh, on the on when you're turning, it's more of a wide angle turn than uh, than just going straight away. So 
you give it a little bit of a curve and then you go uh, you go into wherever you're trying to go in uh, I'll set I'll set everything up and so you guys can see properly now before I do that this right here are beehives I don't like being next to them I remember last year I was just right here chilling uh, talking to my dad and next thing you know um, one of these suckers uh, came up to me and boom right on my forehead left me a big old dot for for like a, a couple hours then it went away but yeah that was pretty embarrassing walking around with that I know that the roller theme is uh, on, on the other side, but I just came to this side because this is it's just a shade. All right, anyway, uh, this, these are quarter boards. We tie them up with uh, these white things, and the, the, they're called straps. Uh, and we, we tie them up, and they're supposed to hold uh, the trailer, in, uh, the pallet in place. So when the trailer moves back and forth, side to side like that, uh, it goes back to its normal position, straight up. Now I'm gonna show you guys how fast I do it in real time. Not a time lapse this time. Done. <laughs> okay, I'm, right now I'm gonna show you guys how to reverse a trailer when, when you're inside a uh, a lane. You gotta keep. You gotta keep this in the middle. It can go from north to the left or to the right. It's gotta be straight in the middle. Or else, or else it'll go out of the line. You gotta throw it all the way. Yeah. 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 supermarket and picking up a watermelon a lot of people I, I, when I go to a supermarket and I and I see people uh, doing this to a watermelon <laughs> I just laugh <laughs> like if there were some bongos or something <laughs> but yeah anyway um they they, they don't make different uh, they don't just because that it sounds more hollow doesn't mean it's right no I'm gonna show you guys what's the difference. This one is more more green, a darker green. It still has a little bit left uh, left to go. This one is already ready to pick. The way you could tell is that it's a little bit less of darker green. So when you're at the supermarket and intent, uh, and and wanting to pick a ripe watermelon, 
or you or you or you want to pick a uh, watermelon that it is it will be good in a couple of days just because if you're waiting for a party on the weekend i would suggest get it this yeah, but if you want to eat it right away start uh, looking for a, a watermelon that is a little bit more towards uh kind of kind of like a pistachio color uh not too green not too white that's what that's what you're really looking for I'm gonna cut them open so you guys can see what's uh, what's the difference. Yes, I know. Yes, I know that uh, they're different sizes, but hey, I tried looking for them uh, for for more, but I couldn't find anything. But anyway, yeah, we cut them up. See, look at the difference. It's a lot more green. It'll be done in three days or so. This would have been good in three days. This is already ready to eat. Yeah, you could leave it for a day or so, but it's up to you if you if you like eating watermelon that that's just like this. But yeah, I really uh I really suggest you guys looking for uh this type of pistachio color like this. It's really good, and you'll get what your money is worth. Just a little tip. Take it, take it or leave it. <laughs> you guys got you guys have you guys have a choice. But yeah, I'm home now. Uh. I told you guys that was gonna be a little short video today, but you guys probably didn't believe it because since I always say it's gonna be a short little video, it turned out to be like a 24 minute video, it turned out to be like a 15, but today it's gonna be pretty short, I know that for sure. But yeah, anyway, uh, I'll see you guys next time and peace. Thank you for watching.